I'm an artist and an entrepreneur, and my life has been shaped and empowered by the creative process. And I wanted to share that experience with young people who don't have access to the arts, urban kids from Boston. So in 1991, I had a, what I thought was a really simple idea, and that is that I would、um, find a group of kids and I would make large-scale collaborative paintings with them and, and sell them to corporations. So their voice would be on the wall of, of、uh, corporate America, and I found one school that would allow me to to come. Oh, sorry, the thing should be rolling.、Um, these are、uh, the young people I work with and some of their creations.、Uh, so I went to this one school and I found this principal who allowed me to make a, a sample piece with a group of kids, and what I found were young people. Really hungry to have a voice in the world and be part of something outside of their communities. So we made a、uh, painting, four by twelve foot painting about education. And after the piece was completed, a group of five kids approached me and, and told me that it was summer and they had nowhere to go and nothing to do, and could they make another painting? So they came to my studio. They were waiting for me in the morning, and I was driving them home at night, and my life was forever changed. And so were theirs.、Um, four of those original five kids have been with Artists for Humanity for almost 20 years now,、um, and they're also working to mentor their their peers, the young peers. But what was really interesting is they had no idea that artists went into a building and made art and created stuff, and they fu- suddenly felt really privileged. You know, young people that come from underserved communities who are in Uninspiring schools, as we've heard from others today,、um, really don't have an opportunity for enrichment. Well, these kids come to our place. We, as I, John introduced, the、um, Platinum Lead Certified Building, which we designed、um, and have been in for f- almost six years, was actually designed by one of those original co-founders who became an architect and worked on the team. Um, so we have 200 kids a year that come to our place and are paid by the hour plus commission to make fine art and provide design services to businesses.、Um, this year we hope to earn 45% of our、uh, cash expenses from revenue generated from the work that they do. It's a multi-studio visual arts organization.、Um, Last year, we completed 726 projects successfully. Now, these are kids who have no training, no experience, and they're mentored by young professional artists like those co-founders that I told you about. And because they come every day and they're part of this、um, amazing collegial and creative environment,、uh, they make incredible progress. And that progress drives them to work harder and. And that working harder just has this multiplier effect on on their development. It's an amazing experience for these kids.、Um, I invite you all to come.、Um, we've done projects. We've had exi- we had an exhibition at the Museum of Fine Arts, for example.、Um, some of the fine art is exhibited through a leasing program: photography, painting, sculpture.、Um, It's also sold in galleries and in public places,、um, and we do really high-end, very sophisticated, complicated commissions.、Um, one of our most exciting entrepreneurial ventures is a line of furniture made from recycled junk mail and magazines, which you'll see coming up. And、um, this was、uh, started as a client project, but was really embraced by the kids. And we now sell this furniture across the country in museum stores, the De Cordova Museum, for example, and in galleries. And young people are totally committed to this process of inventing these new designs and continuing to grow this line. We recently won a statewide competition to design a bike rack for the city of Boston. And we created six amazing designs. The kids. Did everything from sketches to model building to、um, presenting them to officials from the city, 
And、uh, these are kids who are having a hard time passing math class, but they were able to, to build,、um, to scale, and now their work is part of the built environment of Boston. These were recently installed at, at Brigham Circle. So I think you know, the lesson here is that kids need opportunities, they need challenges, and urban kids, kids in particular need access to, to the creative process. We've since gone on to design a series of bike racks for,、um, for Mayor Menino's Bike Week, which was really exciting. And、uh, we're actually having an unveiling this week of some of those. This is our、uh, facility, our, the epicenter.、Um, part of、uh, the plan here is to have exhibitions while we rent the space for events. It's,、um, Platinum LEED certified, we make our own solar energy, and the kids get to feel the amazing empowerment of being in a beautiful space that's environmentally sustainable where they can learn about sustainability. You know,、uh, in the old days, kids worked in the fields when they, after school and they felt valued by their families. And, you know, these kids now feel by earning a wage and being creative and being part of a community like they're. Part of a, of a cultured and civic society, and we're very proud of them. Thank you.